Hi, I'm Jen, and welcome to Flights or Growlers. Today we're going to Peace Brewery and Pizzeria in Chicago, Illinois. This episode was filmed in June of 2021. Peace is located in the Wicker Park neighborhood of Chicago, which is a very popular neighborhood and has been there for 20 years this July. It is the second oldest brewery in Chicago and is the most award-winning brew pub in Illinois. Uh, So I knew that I was in for a good experience. I had been to Peace a couple of times before for their pizza and decided to revisit this time and really just focus in on that beer. I got there when they first opened around 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, At that point, they did require reservations, so you might want to check ahead, although there really wasn't anybody there. Uh, As you can see from the video footage, I was one of the very few people uh, who was there and excited for opening. Um, It's a nice big dining space, a really beautiful curved bar. Just an overall really nice dining room. You can't see it, but on the other side of that wall, there is more additional raised seating as well. So just a really nice environment to come and enjoy some food and some drinks. Uh, In addition to pizza, they have some salads, they have some appetizers, uh, and it's all very, very good. Now, Peace is co-owned by Rick Nielsen of the band Cheap Trick. Cheap Trick is an Illinois band out of Rockford, Illinois, and they go way back. (laughs) They have a lot of hits. If you don't know who they are, uh, you should probably look them up. They are a wonderful band. I've actually seen Rick Nielsen and Cheap Trick play live a couple times, so it's kind of nice to have that history tied in. Uh, In addition, he did appear on the Rachel Ray Show, and they created a custom dessert chocolate pizza for Peace, which now does appear on the menu, so if you are a foodie or Rachel Ray fan, uh, that might be something you want to try. Again, I elected to stick with the beer. Now, Peace is kind of a unique thing in the Chicago market. You usually associate Chicago with like a deep dish crust or a tavern style super thin crust. This is actually what they call a New Haven style pizza. Uh, It's a wood fired, delicious pizza. It's just not anything like any of the Chicago style pizzas that you might be used to. So if you're going to Peace looking for traditional Chicago style pizza, you're not gonna find it there. But what they do have is actually really, really delicious. So I do still highly recommend trying it out. So when I was there, I asked about custom flights and I was told that I could have any beer that I wanted in any combination for any flight. Um, And so of course I opted to try all six of their original beers. Uh, And I'm really glad I did. And then they do also have guest taps. So I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. And I did try a guest tap as well. First starting off here, we have the Golden Arm Kolsch at 5% ABV. There's a light toast on the nose and soft hops and a little bit of wheat writing underneath it. It was a bright gold color. It had a small head and a mild effervescence. There was subtle malt, bubbles on the tongue. It was a light, easy drinking, full mouth feel beer. It was refreshing, but there was some substance to it. It was a really nice Kolsch and I would definitely order that one again. Next up, we had the Top Heavy Hefeweizen at 5% ABV. This one was a traditional Hefeweizen uh, in both its aroma and its flavor profile. You had that clove, 
that banana on the nose. You stuck your nose in this beer and you immediately knew, yeah, you're, you're, gonna, get, you're gonna have a Hefeweizen. It was cloudy with a nice creamy head. On the tasting side, it had a sweet bubble gum and spicy flavor. It had a full mouth feel. It was effervescent, very yeasty, which I personally love. And the spices lingered in the aftertaste. It was really very tasty. It's a really good example of a Hefeweizen and again, something I would be more than happy to order again in the future. Next, we had the Talis More Hazy Pale with wheat and Talis hops at 6.2% ABV. I was a little worried about this one. We're getting into uh, more hoppy territory. Uh, this one had some piney hops on the nose and a really bright aroma. Uh, when I took a sip, it was kind of like an ooh moment. Uh, it was hazy and cloudy with a nice creamy head and the taste softens. It's very much softer than how it smells. Uh, so you don't get that kind of piney astringent taste. It's much milder on the palate. It is hops forward and bitter, and the pine is predominant with a full mouth feel. My tongue felt a little tingly when I tasted this. It almost felt like I had pop rocks in my mouth. It was kind of a unique feeling. I kind of really liked it. Uh, there was a hint of wheat in there, but the hops were definitely dominant. It was pleasant to drink, and I think it would pair well with a lot of different food. I think it would balance nicely, especially with their pizza. Uh, really, really a tasty beer. It surprised me. Next up was The Weight, which is an American Pale Ale at 6% ABV. This one had strong hops on the nose. It was a really pretty color with a creamy head and a light effervescence. The mouth felt was more medium body. It was very hops forward. It was piney and citrusy and very bitter on the finish. I did not t detect any of that malt flavor that I love. It was just more of like your hoppy kind of beer. But it was very clean and it was fresh tasting. It wouldn't be my personal preference to order again, uh, but it was extremely well made. I definitely recommend it if you're a fan of the style. Next up, I had the West Western West Coast Pale Ale at 5.5% ABV. This beer was a beautiful, soft caramel color with a mild hops aroma. It had a light mouth feel and soft fruity hops with a bitter finish. It was slightly astringent, but not overpoweringly so. The hops do stick around on the aftertaste. I actually, I actually really liked this one. It was nicely balanced, um, but for me, the tasting portion was enough. Um, I didn't think that I could handle a full glass of this, um, but I know several people who would absolutely be happy to drink this beer all night long. Again, very well made, uh, very tasty. It surprised me that I liked it as much as I did, uh, and I would recommend it if you were into West Coast Pale Ales. Next up was the Spellbound Dry Stout. This one is at a wonderful 6.66 ABV. Uh, it has a soft, dark roast coffee nose, a tan head, and a beautiful black color. This one is deep, rich malt and coffee flavor, with a hint of sweetness and a medium mouthfeel. There was just a hint of licorice on the back of the throat with a dry finish. It was very smooth and it did have some bitterness on the finish as well. It felt to me kind of light for a stout. It wasn't as heavy. It was very drinkable. Uh, I really enjoyed this one and who doesn't love a uh, brewmaster working in a 666 reference? I just thought it was great. Next up, I had a bonus tasting. This is one of their guest taps. This was the Dutch Bag Brewing Company Summer King Strawberry Hibiscus Double Goes at 7.4% ABV. This one was very pretty. It had a sweet strawberry nose. It was very bright, a peachy rose colored with bright white head. The taste was sour strawberry with just a tiny, tiny hint of hibiscus there. There was sweetness, but you had that sour on the finish. It was very pleasant, highly drinkable. If you see the Dutch Bag Brewing Summer King Strawberry Hibiscus Double Goes on the menu, uh, I highly recommend it for summer. I do just wanna say a quick note. When I was there, the brewmaster Steve was also there uh, and saw me doing the tasting and taking some tasting notes and he actually came over and was the nicest guy. <laughs> 
He was very uh, warm and welcoming, answered all my questions about the beer. I got a bit of his history. He has been at some of the breweries that I love the most. Uh, he has a Florida background. He's been at uh, Cigar City, Angry Chair, Seven Sun, but also Pipeworks and Three Floyds in the Chicago area. He has been around. He has seen a lot. He has worked with some fantastic brewers. Um, so I just want to shout out to Steve. We had a very pleasant conversation. Um, I was really impressed by how warm and welcoming uh, and hospitable he was to this girl sitting at his bar <laughs> taking detailed notes. I really appreciated that. So Steve, hey, if you ever hear this, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, love what you're doing with the beer here. Definitely recommend everybody come check it out. Like I said, they do have guest drafts there. It's not just their own beers. Uh, and if you're not a beer person, they do have a selection of wine and other beverages available as well. Uh, so check it out. I'm sure you'll find something that you like there, uh, no matter what you're into. They do, of course, at the front of the restaurant, they have a selection of merchandise. Um, they've got some sweatshirts uh, with Jeff Goldblum's face, apparently. Uh, they've got some t-shirts, they've got some hats, uh, just a really nice uh, selection, glasses, that kind of thing. Your standard brewery stuff uh, right at the hostess stand when you walk in. So if you're into the merchandise, that's definitely an option. They do have a takeout window as well, so if you're just into the pizza or if you're in the area and wanted to grab some to go, that is also an option for you. So just wanted to make sure I mentioned that. They do have the crawlers and the growlers available to go. If I were to get a growler to go here, I think I would probably go with the Top Heavy Hefeweizen. I really, really enjoyed that beer. Um, the Golden Arm Kolsch was a close second. And you know what? That stout, that Spellbound Dry Stout, uh, I actually did take a crowler of that to go. So um, all three of those for me, but like I said, the other styles are so well made. And if you're into those styles, the, the pale ales and the IPAs, uh, you're definitely gonna find what you like here at Peace Brewing. Thank you so much for listening. Please remember to like, subscribe, uh, and hit the notification bell if you're interested in getting alerts when these videos go live. It really does help us out. We, we appreciate it. It lets us know that you're listening and that we're, we're doing what you want us to do. Have you been to Peace Brewery? If so, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. Uh, let me know what you're looking forward to trying most next time you're there. And for Flights or Growlers, this is Jen, and I'll see you at the brewery.